So that's how quick this has actually grown. I've seen it myself as Chloe's well seen it herself. I had probably one or two clients about a year and a half ago that were in the cloud. I now have over 50. I'm a much smaller organization, but I have been jealous by the sound of it, but I have over 50 clients now in the cloud. And my market share, the share in the business, has gone from being sort of almost 100% NYOB and odd bits elsewhere with, with QuickBooks and so on, to now being about 50-50, and I dare say that in less than a year we'll be far more in the cloud than anything else. There are customers of zeros in 50 plus countries, and the investment it comes from the original founders of MYOB. This software was built for the cloud. MYOB is being adapted to the cloud, yeah. and that is part of the reason they're having problems. Right. So, I didn't want to go through everything that it does because you all know that they all need to do everything. In fact, everything that, that you've been talking about tonight, nearly every package will do in one form or another, some better than others. But there are certain things that I did want to highlight. One is, is that the automatic bank fees for the main Australian banks and many credit unions, etc., is a really important feature of all cloud technology, of SASU and of Zero particularly. It is very easy, and I'll show you a picture of what it does in a second. Greater online, is it yet? Yeah, uh, not greater, no, they're not. No, they're not. Um, it's got easy bank reconciliation and expense claims, which I'll show you a little thing on in a second. And its multi-currency is unbelievably brilliant. It is linked in with live currency. So if you put in, if you've got a client that puts in something that is in American dollars, and you invoice in American dollars, it will actually translate that out of the day into the accounting system without you worrying about it. It is brilliant. It's the multi-currency side. Does it back? Does it go back into history? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that be on the time. Yeah, they both do. They said yes. They do it. Moments. Yeah. 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 Pay cycle, it brought out pay cycle, and pay cycle's payroll is actually in credit. Is it still an add on though? No. It's is now, it's it's now integrated, integrated in it, it has a little, a little payroll button, it's totally integrated. There have been, it integrated on Sunday, and there have been a, a couple of things, like for instance, you have to go back into pay cycle to say integrate now, and it will send it across. So there are a couple of little things that, that people don't know and you have to know. Um, like you have to tick that person's payroll okay and things like that. So there have been a couple of little teething problems for us because we do run so many payrolls. Um, but it's now all working with all our clients. Um, the top ten reasons why customers love Xero, automatic daily bank fees. They come in so that you can see on your Xero dashboard, which is the first screen that you go into immediately, what your your bank is, has got from the day before. Fast, simple, and customized invoicing. Anywhere, anytime. That's a really important thing with cloud technology. Real-time collaboration with advisors. That means that, as we were saying before, I can be talking to on my stuff with Nicole, and she can also be talking to the client, or I can be talking to the client all at the same time. Um, it's safe and secure data, and we do have some stats on that security side if you're interested. Um, quick and easy VAS returns, um, and they have published reports. The reports are wonderful, you can publish them and make it look fabulous and charge fortune. And actually, it, it's really an impressive fun. So it's, that's the sort of, that's the sort of area where you start making money is in your reporting. Um, you've got pack, cash flow clarity, which I'll show you as well. Unlimited support and no additional cost in that area. No installation upgrades or maintenance. These are questions that you asked us, so I actually pop them in blue. And pay as you go with no upfront costs. So you pay per license. Most people are paying around $49 a month for um, their licenses. That's where a mid-range organization would pay. That's without the multi-currency. Um, but that's less than an hour of our work. And it's saving hours of our work. So what we do is we integrate that into our actual um, costs. Is that just is that per company? Per entity with an ABN, yes. Yes, so if you've got someone with five entities, they need to pay five licenses, yes. so they're paying 250 a month. Yes, that's 
You can speak to Zero. They will actually do add-ons for companies that are, are integrated together, but you have to actually negotiate direct with them. But they are quite amenable to various things if you if you have a real issue. But but when you think about how much you're saving, if they've got five companies, you're doing five sets of, of accounts as well. So each one of them, you'd be saving much more than that on each one of them. So it's really irrelevant. As far as we're concerned, we never sell on the phone. We never no, have any, any problem with licenses. But when somebody comes up and says, I have to get a new payroll system that costs me $775 or $795 to get it each year to get the new pay tables, pay, the tax tables for the payroll, it's a lot of money. But when you say it's $40, $49, we don't actually say it, but it's $49 a month and you say you're knocking off two hours of what you would normally do or ten hours of what you would normally do depending on how big the client is. It's a no brainer. It's really easy is to sell. Is it forty nine dollars per is that what the client gets charged? Or is that what the bookkeeper gets? Bookkeeper charged? gets it depending on how many clients you've got, the bookkeeper gets a percentage, so it's about twenty five percent. So you would get you you pay less bucks. But who honestly, you'd have to have an awful lot of clients to make it. The bookkeeper pays. Yes. So the client pays $49 a month regardless. It's up to you what you charge your client. But zero, if they buy it directly from zero, they'll be paying $49 a month. And how do you then drop money into their account? Well, they have to give you access. Oh. You set them up, which is what we do. We set all our clients up. We have clients that come in from accountants that are set up by the accountant, and we just get given permission and it comes in to us. But if you set it up, we don't pay or anything. If you set it up, you pay on your credit card. Right. right. And they take it off credit cards. So if you pay on your credit card, so if you have 10 clients, you're paying 400 and something dollars, but you're not. You're actually paying 300 and something. You're getting a discount because you are a partner. It costs you nothing to become a partner at all. You can go on and I actually have the, the, the website for partners if you're interested in the URL with me. You can go in, you can set yourself up as a partner through there. You just have to ask some questions and then you put your, your details on, like you do with Uniting Bookkeepers. You put your details on their website so that people can see you're a partner. And it costs you absolutely nothing and you get a completely free set of accounts for yourself as well. So you can use zero yourself, which we do as a, as a firm. We use it and we use Workflow Max over by it as a, um, a time management system, really. So um, that's that's how it works. So when you get you, you get a bill every month, you get a bill for all your clients, but it's less than what you're charging your client. <coughs> the other day, I'm sort of you know, said that um, the best way to do it is do it easy to do it on the first of the month in advance to your client, and then zero actually bill you at the end of the month. Yeah. So if it's the June, so you bill your client, arrange, set up easy debit or something like that, and they get billed on the first yeah. of June, and, and zero then bill you on the 30th of June. Oh, so you oh, make sure that you're all Or you add it into a package, which is what we do with a lot of our clients. We just add it in and pay for it. So um, this is, uh, I apologize for the focus, I'm not quite sure why that is the case. But this is actually what your client will see when they first go onto the system. If they're new to it, they'll have a green box at the very top. And that actually tells you what's on the page. Um, so it gives them a good, you know, like every page it goes into has a green box that says what's on the page. It reminds them how to do something. But we t take that off because we don't need it anymore because we know how to use it. But that's, this is basically what they get. It's a dashboard. So they've got all their bank accounts down on this side. And then on the other side, they can actually put a watch list on of anything that they want to, like you know how much PAYG they might owe or superannuation or whatever on there. And they can also see their payables and their um, receivables as well. And then if they've got expenses, expense claims come down the bottom as well, which come in from their staff. So that gives them a, a really quick picture. I know we're running out of time, so I'm going to do this very quickly. This is actually what a bank reconciliation looks like just visually really quickly. I wasn't sure we had internet, so I didn't go live with it. <coughs> it's clear on that screen. <laughs> but essentially, the, this side of the, this, <laughs> essentially, this side of the screen is actually where the bank's coming in automatically. So you've got all this. And on the other side, the system is intelligent, so it works out roughly what it thinks it is. If it's gone green, the chances are what it's done is it's matched up an invoice or a purchase that you've actually put into the system, 
and it's matched it first by the sums of money, then it goes in with the, the, the name and then perhaps the reference code, and it says, okay, the screen says, I'm pretty sure this is it, is that right? To reconcile now, we've just gone in and clicked once, right, to get into the system, put your password in, gone in, clicked once. To reconcile now, all you do is go and check all the green ones first, go click, 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 and you've done it, you've reconciled. Nothing else to add at all. Oh, Tracy, I read a post the other day on a forum to say that you can't actually manually put in a bank trans transaction. You can manually you do to, anything, yes. Well, they were saying that you have to go and create a spreadsheet with no. the information. No, 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 no. you can add anything that you want to. There's other areas in the system. You've got up here cash coding. And I can't remember what that one's on. I think they were, they were talking about migrating data where a bank feed wasn't on and not trying to bring in a bank feed. Yeah. And, and there, there's a way that if you, you yeah. may see you only get 90 days when you first turn it on. Oh, no, that's there's a way to bring out the history. No, no, no. Well, you can certainly do it manually. You okay. can do it like you do MYB, almost yeah. identical yeah. to MYB if you want to. You can sit down there and tick each one if you want to, yeah. but this that would be a waste of time. It also remembers things that it's seen before, so it'll actually intelligently yeah. say that if I've done X number of, um, I've gone to Melrose Parking, it will actually pick up Melrose Parking and say, is this parking here? Yeah. So it actually remembers things, and it's also got bank rules that you can put in, and that's what we do with all our clients, we set them all up with bank rules as we get to know them and what they're going to have regularly, so if it's rent on a monthly basis, we get it to recognise it, and it will actually code it on the other side, so no human intervention until now. So, that, I mean, there's lots more I can say about this, and I can't go into it all, but this is cash coding as well. You can go in and cash code, so if you're doing a really quick reconciliation, unlike most systems, you can actually click on these top ones and it will sort according to that. Um, so, this time, I actually just did this really quickly as a screenshot, and I sorted all the parking ones. Then when you, if you tick them, you can then put parking here and it will fill all the rest in. So, it's just really fast reconciliations, really. Just put in cash coding and reconciliation, so it, it works really well. But they call it sexy, fun, and addictive, and actually it is. It is, most of the time, unless you've got a really bad client. Um, and these are genuine comments that some of our clients have made. We had one the other day that says, every time thing sounds awesome, can you believe for the first time I'm excited about my bookkeeping? <laughs> and this was a, a, a client who runs um, a beauty, uh, beauty place. And then uh, we've got McGraw as a client and inspired bookkeeping as part of McGraw with a cloud-based application for easy access and the ability for the bookkeeper to perform work on and off-site. The, off the result is total freedom, etc. So they're, they're really happy. I don't have an unhappy client on the cloud, do we actually? No, we don't have an unhappy client on the cloud. They just love it. Everyone loves it. Tracy and Joe, can I ask, are both these systems um, being chained with regards to the supply payment? Contracting thing coming with the building and construction. Industry. Yeah, they're all I doing can't answer that. Because that that no. from the first of July, from July two thousand and thirteen, we've got a report yeah. on supplier contractor yes. stuff. Yeah. You can customise. You can customise. So, so, oh, so yeah. that's all going to be there. Yeah. And you're going to be able to do that report to submit you to the yeah. 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 July yeah. 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 Um, I won't read that one as well, you probably read it while we were just chatting there, but basically this guy does it in, does his um, invoicing on the go and then just sends it down the line and it's in there ready for us to reconcile when the bank statement comes in. So that's your price here, you've got $29.49 or $64. $29 does not have that many bank feeds into it, so there's not many clients that do the small cash coding type clients that would want to do that one. Um, or somebody that doesn't have that. So we have our overseas client and we don't use their bank reconciliation side, but we put all the information in, so we use the $29 one for that. Um, and 64 is your, is, this is a per month, and 64 is the actual market currency. So this is not what you're paying, this is what your client's paying. You get a discount off that. So that's the recommended retail. And I, if, if it's not too difficult, I don't know how to do this. I think it's the other one. Yeah, the, the, it should link through to it actually. Oh. I don't know how it goes in. I know it's on there. I just look at the other one. Zero Touch. It's the new way to manage your business on the go. Imagine on your way to work, you quickly check the balances of all your bank accounts and credit cards. 
at a glance you instantly see where your business cash flow stands. With a client meeting scheduled, you look up their address and view it on the map. To expense your travel, you take a photo of the receipt and it's instantly uploaded to Xero. Say goodbye to stuffing your wallet full of receipts. Once the job is done, simply create and email your invoice on the spot. At the end of the day, with your cash flow under control, you can relax. Thanks to Zero Touch. That's the iPhone app that goes with it. So you can do a lot off your iPhone and you can, and we have customers that do, and we do. So and they both work that if they're out of internet range, they're uploaded into the phone. As soon as the phone goes into range, it will then sync back to you. So you don't even have to be... What you do is, is you go and you have a lot more clients, number one. You go in and you tell them that you can do these things for them and you are going to reduce their fees. You don't try, uh, in my opinion, you don't try and increase their fees. You might add with the value adds. Things like um, Peter has mentioned before and other, other speakers here about the value adds that you can bring on the reporting, how to get something better. And all these online packages have some fabulous advisor-only areas where you go in and you can bring out really fabulous reports. And one of those reports in Xero that I would highly recommend is the Var Variance Report, where it actually does what an accountant does. Sorry, accountants. But it's there and it actually will say the variance of you know, the percentages of up and down in, in income or, or outgoings or whatever it is, just like an accountant would produce. And it's producing it all off the software, so you can do that and you can publish it and you can put lovely headings on it and then you can do it all in your, your colours, etc. You can just change it all to your, to your look and feel. So it's, it's very clever stuff and um, definitely something that you should go and play with. There's some information there. Um, I also have an offer that anyone that's not into Xero and doesn't know it very well but thinks that they have a client that might actually benefit from it now, I'm talking now, we are offering from Inspired Bookkeeping three months free um, um, uh, subscription, subscription and uh, total integration support. We also do migrations. Um, I wouldn't know how to do migration on SASU. That would be something that you would go to do to know about. But we do migrations to zero all the time and we're quite experienced at it. So um, we from all different platforms. We're doing one from Tash at the moment. We did we do from QuickBooks. We do them from um, Mild. Mild is the most frequent one. It's the easiest to actually transfer across as well. So if anybody's interested in that, um, um, how do I do this competition and this sort of thing? And what, what we're, doing, we're going to do it now as well, so we'll, we'll get you a camera for the way If that person isn't interested in it though, because they might not want to go loud, they can put it back and we'll get someone else. Okay, but we'll give, we'll give the hand-holding support under your label, not under ours. So we're not saying it's us, so we'll just give you the hand-holding support to get you through it. Beautiful. Um,